How to start an affiliate program for your Shopify store. What's up guys, my name is Krause and in today's quick tutorial, we are going to go over everything needed to successfully start an affiliate program on your Shopify store. Now, basically by doing this, you are going to allow affiliates or in most cases, basically customers of yours uh, to promote your product for completely free. And in return, these affiliates are then going to receive a set percentage split or also a set amount of money per order but more on that later on I will show you how to set up everything in this video uh, and you're then going to basically make money per every order so you won't have to actually pay for customer acquisition you won't have to pay for ads and so on basically the only thing that you will have to do is watch this video till the end set up this affiliate program and then you can right away accept affiliates onto your platform so that these affiliates can then promote your products so without further ado let's actually get started now to get started you do want to click on the settings on the bottom left navigate to apps and sales channels and then open up the Shopify app store now we are going to need to install an app to actually add an affiliate program so just look for affiliate right here now as of right now there are tons of different apps that essentially are going to do the same thing however we are going to use up promote as for this video just for the simple reason that first of all it does have a pretty strong free plan which in my opinion is really important i think if you are getting started out with dropshipping or with just shopify in general basically it is it makes sense to not right away have to pay for an option rather you can actually use up promote right here and you can use their free plan and you are going to get basically all of the features that you are most likely going to need to get started obviously if you are an established shop i would recommend you to upgrade or maybe just you try out this free plan and then upgrade later on because you are going to get quite a lot of great integrations and features with the paid plans but secondly besides the free plan um, up promote also has great reviews all across the board as you can see they have over 3000 reviews with a rating of 4.9 so we are just going to use this app in this video just click on install right here i personally also use up promote on all of my own stores so i can just generally say that in my opinion it's the best app out there however i'm not affiliated with them i'm not sponsored by them it's just my own opinion okay so to get started you will actually have to register right here on up promote in this case i'm just going to quit quickly put in a password and as for the rest you can actually just leave this at the default I will just simply register right here going to click on never and then you can basically just go through this survey doesn't really matter what you're going to tick right here too much so then once you're going to be redirected to this page we will have to click on get started this is then going to redirect us to the onboarding process so first of all we will have to set how we do want to actually structure our commissions so obviously we will have to add an affiliate link so that people can actually track their affiliate earnings but then you can also uh, basically check if you do want to add an affiliate coupon option now by choosing this option you're going to activate the tracking by coupon thing where basically whenever someone is going to put in the coupon that they have set on their affiliate portal um, th this is then going to be tracked to their affiliate link so in general I would actually recommend you to leave this turned on if you are going to give your affiliates a special discount so if you're for example going to say okay all affiliates get a a discount code for 10% then this makes sense to uh, leave turned on okay then as for the commission type basically with up promote there are three different commission types first of all percent of sale then flat rate per item and then a flat rate per order now in only very few use cases uh, flat rate per order and flat rate per item actually do make sense uh, I think in 99 percent of all cases percent of sales is going to be the best option because basically with percent of sale you're going to incentivize your affiliates to actually kind of sell quite a lot of products of yours and to actually drive a lot of revenue otherwise with this flat rate per item or flat rate per order thing right here basically it doesn't really matter if an affiliate is going to generate an order for ten dollars or a thousand dollars they're always going to make the same money so it doesn't really matter for them rather i would recommend you to just leave this at percent of sale so that you're actually going to maximize your profits then as for the commission amounts by default this is going to be 10 you can also up this to 15 
or maybe 20, I don't know. This is basically going to depend on your margins. So you will basically have to run your numbers so that you will then see how much you can actually do on your store. But for now, I'm just going to save and next. And then we will have to create an affiliate account. Basically, we can just create and test affiliate account if we do want to. Uh, I guess I will just do this right now. Just going to put in a random password right here. Um, then I'm going to click on create. And now they should actually um, send an email to this. So as you can see now, my email has been verified and we can now actually then uh, log in, but more on that later on. So let's now continue with the actual setup. So in this case, we will just have to basically click on activate account. As you can see, this is going to be activated now. And then we can click on next. So first of all, we can test the tracking system by using this affiliate link right here. So first of all, you can test this and so on. We are not going to do this right now. And then you will have to select how you do want to pay out your affiliates. So you're going to have quite a lot of options for this PayPal, debit card, Venmo, UPI, bank transfer and so on. In my case, I'm just going to select paper for now. And I'm then going to click on save and finish. This is then going to redirect us to the homepage of upper mode. Okay, right here, basically, you are going to have the link to actually promote your registration form where affiliates can sign up. Now, if you actually do want to add a custom domain to this, you will have to upgrade this. But uh, I guess in most cases, you do not necessarily have to ha have to have a custom domain as we will just display this on our Shopify store so the domain doesn't matter too much. So let's now actually get started with customizing our affiliate program. To do so, just head over two programs right here on the left. And then as you can see right here, you do have your standard affiliate commission program right here. By clicking on it, you can change up the default settings right here. For example, you can set the commission calculations. You can also set up the commission structure if you do want to change anything. And then as for the special product commissions, basically you can set a uh, special product uh, commissions for certain kind of products if you do want to. Now all of these settings are going to be super general, like for example right here you will have to set your description and so on. But there is one thing which I want to go over right now. This would be this commission structure page right here. Basically as the default, this is going to be a simple commission structure, so basically with fixed commissions. However, you can actually also make this advanced so that the commissions are going to vary depending on order value. So actually in some cases this does make sense to check right here so that actually people are going to be incentivized uh, into actually getting people to uh, actually buy a lot of your store. So in this case I I'm just going to leave it that simple but you're going to have that option right here. Now let's actually now opt out of this and let's now actually continue by customizing our affiliate registration form because as of right now this is actually going to look something like this um, which does look fine don't get me wrong however I will show you how to customize this to our likings. So in this case I'm just going to click on customize registration form right here and we can then go ahead and actually select the font. So maybe we are going to change this. I don't know if this one does look good. I guess I will just change this back to Poppins right here. Either way, you can then change the background color. You can change the sidebar. Uh, you can then, for example, also change this to an image and so on. Now I would recommend you to actually just update this to your uh, basically brand colors on your store. Like for example, this button right here, I would then probably change the color to uh, this color right here on my store. Um, however, I will not do this right now as this generally is pretty self-explanatory and I don't want to waste your time, okay? Now as for the thank you page right here, I will just leave this right now. As for the thank you page, this is going to look something like this. You can then once again right here on the left, um, basically set this up. You can then actually also update your logo right here, which I would recommend you to do so that this is then going to be automatically set up everywhere. So in this case, I'm just going to, I guess, set this logo. Let's quickly see it. Okay. And if we're now going to head back, going to click on customers right here, as you can see, our logo automatically got added. And on this thank you page, the logo also automatically got added. Perfect. Now we can now actually save the changes. And we can then also see a live preview of this. 
Now we can now actually also continue by adding motivations for our affiliates, which you can actually do under the motivation tabs right here. So for example, you can actually let affiliates promote your brand with coupons. To do so, just click on manage coupons and you can then basically add a coupon. So first of all, you would have to add a coupon. Basically, you would have to select an affiliate, sorry. And then you will have to add the coupon code onto this affiliate. So in this case, we would then, for example, I don't know, let's just name this Krause. As for the type and value, we could say that this is going to be an order discount, a product discount or a free shipping right here. As for discount type, we can actually say that this is going to be, let's say this is going to be a 15% a percentage discount. And as for the minimum purchase requirements, I would recommend you to, I guess I'm just going to leave this at no minimum requirements. So if we're now actually going to save this, this is then going to show up in the dashboard of the, basically of the affiliate right here. So we can actually also add some other uh, motivations. For example, we can add a media gallery right here, which is then going to make this whole process easier for the affiliate. Uh, so for example, if you're going to upload different kind of logos, different kind of videos, showcasing your product and so on, this obviously makes the whole promoting process easier and therefore can actually lead to more sales on the affiliate side. So I would recommend you to just add your basic brand media onto this, okay? Then you can actually also add some gifts uh, but I think this is only for paid users as of right now. So as you can see, this is going to be paid and you can also set up bonuses, which also is paid, I think. So yeah, we are not going to do this right now, no worries. And then as for the outreach method, basically um, the thing that I would recommend you to do is setting up a customer referral section right here. So basically with this, you're going to pitch your customers, this affiliate program, which is then actually going to get them into the affiliate program. Now, this sadly is also only available for the growth plan. I do have the growth plan on basically most of my stores so i do have this enabled by default now this is going to be pretty self-explanatory right here you can just edit this pop-up so that people are actually going to see that you have an affiliate link once they've purchased something of your store now as for the other things right here you can for example also set up post purchase pop-up right here which is actually also going to be paid but basically i don't want to get into nitty-gritty i just want to give you guys an overview on how this is going to work in general so that you guys know everything needed to actually run an affiliate program on your site. However, if you do have any questions along the way, make sure to leave them in the comments down below and I will try to respond to you as soon as possible. Let me now actually show you how to add this affiliate registration form onto your store. So in this case, we will have to first of all copy this link and then we will have to head over to online store and then click on navigation right here. And then we will have the footer menu as well as the main menu. Now, the main menu is going to be this header right here on top and the footer menu, this uh, footer right here on the bottom. So basically in most cases, I would recommend you to just add the link to your affiliate program in the footer. However, you can, can also add this onto the main menu, onto the header, um, which is kind of more aggressive, but you can also do this. Just It is just going to come down to your own preferences essentially. But as for me, I'm just going to select footer right here and then we're going to add a new menu item. I'm going to call this affiliate and then I'm just going to paste in the link right here. And now if we're going to add this, we will have to head over to our online store. Then we will have to click on customize. And now we will have to scroll down to the footer and we will have to add a new block onto this, uh, onto the footer section right here, add a new block called menu. And now, as you can see, this affiliate section is going to show up. So if we're now going to save this right here, and if we're now going to reload our store, this is going to show up and this is going to actually redirect us to this page. So as you can see, this is how the affiliate dashboard is then going to look like for your affiliates. Right here, you will have to actually set a payment method to get started with, and then you will have to put an actual uh, email address for your PayPal to get started. So let me quickly do this. And then basically you do have your affiliate profile right here. You do have the notification settings. You can also see a dashboard with all of the different, basically all of the different insights, how many money you have generated for the store and so on. You are going to see your default affiliate link and you can also see the affiliate coupon right here. And basically you can then copy this and so on. Basically, you're also going to see the commission structure. You're then also going to see the payments, different kind of marketing tools, settings, as well as a general guide. You can also set this up right here.
We all know that starting a successful Shopify store can be super hard. That's why I'm right now giving out my Shopify course for completely free. Now you're going to learn everything needed to actually streamline your Shopify success in that exact course. So make sure to click on the link down below to get started.